Hi everyone, it's Christiane from the YouTube channel Backpacking Bananas and I am thrilled to be your guest vlogger for EF today. Now I travel a lot, but right now I'm at my home in England and it's very cold outside. So today I'm gonna to be showing you five fun things that you can do in London in winter. Firstly, let's talk about museums. When the weather's cold outside or maybe it's not so good, there's nothing better than to come into a London museum which will be nice and warm. And the best part is that most of them are free. Behind me is the Tate Modern, which is one of my favourites, and it's located on the beautiful South Bank, and you have an amazing view of St Paul's Cathedral. That's where we're going to go. I wanted to take you up to level 10, where the viewing platform is, because this is where you could get one of the best views in the whole of London. And a beautiful view of the Shard, of course, our tallest building in London. And behind me here, we have another one of my favourites, the gorgeous British Museum. I absolutely love when you first walk into this museum because the ceiling and the architecture is just incredible. If you get off the tube at South Kensington, there's a tunnel which basically brings you through to some of the best museums in London, all in one area. And one of those museums is the Natural History Museum. such Harry Potter vibes in here, it's so cool. Of course, being winter in London, I have to mention Winter Wonderland. The entrance is just here behind me, but inside it is massive. So Winter Wonderland is in Hyde Park, which is right in the middle of London, a massive, beautiful park. And there are so many things to do here. You can go on one of the roller coasters, you can go ice skating, you can have a hot bevy, you can have one of the delicious winter snacks available, you can play games. Could you imagine having to bring one of these bears home if you won one of the bears? It's massive. Oh my god, this is making me so hungry. It's open in the day into the evening and you just won't get bored. You could literally walk around all day and have something to do. It's free to get into the park, they just do a bag inspection. And then when you're in there, you can buy tokens to get on all of the rides and the different attractions. And then of course you can pay for food and drink as you wish. Now I really wanted to take you down bustling Oxford Street because winter is one of the best seasons in the whole of the year to come shopping in London. Like if you're here in January, you've got the January sales. If you're here in December, you've got the beautiful, beautiful Christmas lights. Just have a look at how wonderful these lights are on House of Fraser. And there's literally every shop under the sun that you can find here. We've got the biggest top shop in the world. We have a massive John Lewis. Literally anything you want, you can find it here on Oxford Street. And obviously some of these shops I absolutely categorically cannot afford, but it's still nice to have a look. This is Carnaby Street Lights, which always have something different every year. This year they've got a focus on like the ocean and sustainability, which is so cool. Number four is to make the most of one of the gorgeous outdoor ice rinks that we have out here in winter. One of my favorites is Somerset House. It's arguably the most picturesque in front of the beautiful Somerset House. We're here at the Natural History Museum and it looks like the next lot are just about to get released onto the ice. But this is another fantastic place to come ice skating outdoors with a fantastic backdrop of the Natural History Museum. So the 
final thing after a long day of exploring is to come find a nice cozy cafe inside and enjoy a nice hot chocolate or hot bevy of your choice. We've come to Sed this evening which is famous for their hot chocolates and I've gone for the triple chocolate hot chocolate. They put half the chocolate on the outside of the mug, it doesn't even fit in. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's actually really good though. That's really, really tasty. What I like about this place is that it's an independent cafe and it's been around for almost a hundred years. And if you're not a big chocolate lover, they also do cheese and they do pastries and other bits and bobs as well. But it's nice just to cozy up on a winter's evening. Lovely. Oh, fun. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to EF for making me be your guest vlogger. I hope you have a wonderful time in London. You can find me on YouTube at Backpacking Bananas. See you soon.